You know somebody, I want to tell the honorable minister of information uh, technology who said, why, 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 digital, honorable Asla Uwusu something. I want to tell you, honorable, about Abrantian, no, now where you will his name was Fennec Ochre. We need justice for Fennec. He bled in cold blood at the age of 32 and died. Justice for him. Till you. Oh, I don't want to, you know, intermeddle myself with the northern issue. Let me stay out of here. But I want to tell, you want justice? Look at the way His Excellency was so quick and so sharp to go to uh, uh, Kumase and uh, the seven people who were mistakenly and wrongfully killed, you know, and, and, and announce a 1.5 million CD compensation package. I want to ask Your Excellency, with all due respect, May 9 disaster still haven't gotten compensation, all of them. June 3, people still haven't gotten compensation. What kind of nepotism is this one? What kind of favoritism is this one? Let's give a fair play and a level field to all Ghanaians who go through some of these detrimental treatments and let them know that they are treated fairly. The mistake the police did, Honorable IGP, I thought by now you have learned your lessons without due respect to you sir sir the same mistake was done last week at Tishi. a young man 25 years on namni baby police put a bullet into his head and he's lying at the mortuary right now and you sit in church this morning honorable igp your men are doing so well but some are out of line can you imagine the pastor who was killed at community four police station and yet then a police investigating a crime can use his phone to take a view shot of the criminal or can a new and put it on the internet and everybody hears it i thought that investigation must be concealed and is professional and nobody should hear it what kind of you know unprofessional police officers can obstruct justice like that an honorable igp you watch these men to be part of your men i think that your seat should be shaken behind you i am telling you all those men who are not professional should be fired from the service i'm telling you huh? if you don't do the right thing god will find a way to replace you god will find a way just like vasti will replace you i told these some gospel musicians you either repent or the lord will replace you they thought we were joking Gospel free 80% Read Gospel music shop One of read And tampe W-E-E Yeah Yeah For the phone free I'm reminded all the secular musicians Try! hear the word when you're serious but mom can is one year old after her demise Ebony who ye one year it's reminding all of us our days are taken all of us be careful the way you treat your wife be careful the way you treat your husband. I'm telling all the pastors and ministers in this country of the gospel. Be careful the way you treat your wife. Who said Bishop Bob Hudson will die for his wife to handle affairs? Who said Bishop Anoyabua, Bishop Odom, Bishop Owusu Tebri will die for their wives to be taken over? Who said Maxwell, a champion, will die for Lady Felicia to take over the church? Treat these women well, who? my friend the late bishop uh, Akko harrison had stroke for over three to four years 
Until them on God's sorry. Until if you treated your wife bad, it's time it's time for reciprocity. It's now time for reciprocity. Wouldn't it? Oh crap! Say you call you all night. I sorry all tasuna wo fama. That is why miracles don't happen in the house of God anymore. You go in your mia for the mufi. You say when your mia for the muka. You go as of the deal. You say no. Asia samungwa. Any you do when your mufi. Munti abradi asam. Ubi awa kasa se wamompe. Akwanchi of phobia. Near the many parts. Sika kaka mubi nye di di. The home. As we hear holy bath, there is nothing like that. If you want any sacrifice, Jesus has already paid every sacrificial price already. There is no price to pay anymore. The price is already paid for. Your, your healing price is paid. Your victory price is paid. Your breakthrough price is already paid. You don't need to sow anything before anything happens. It is only the message of God for him to accept your sacrifices on the altar. When you put it there, he honors you. You cannot buy God. You cannot buy the altar of God. You cannot buy the presence of God. You cannot buy the things of God. Therefore, when you give us money, we it doesn't mean you we cannot rebuke you when you go wrong. What are you talking about? We will tell you the mind of God, the heart of God. This year you are going to be serious because when you're serious, are we serious as a nation? Look at the places we call hospitals. Are we serious? That is why minister here. Minister, the other one called Buruchiri. And more and more, we go across the net. We move in here. Tia, Kenya, me and you are We are not serious. We are a trade fair center. And me, when we be here, we draw something in the breeze here. They are hot. Look at the way. Anything government has neglected, people are taking big advantage of it. Look at water, for example. Ghana Water Company cannot expand and go to places that they should go. And so these borehole drillers are making money. Hospitals, same. Look at the way private hospitals are making money. Because we, um, we, we, are, so, we are so blind. Our leaders are greedy. Greedy leaders. They come to office to pay their campaign bills first. Before anything can happen. Four years, you best sound like a toa moment. We give them jobs, we pay them. Sometimes I get so heartbroken when these nurse trainees and teachers are on the streets and are at the ministries crying that they have not been paid and they are crying and all that. And sometimes they are crying for salaries for over one year, they have not paid salaries. And yet the sector minister is receiving his salary every month. What kind of leadership is that? What kind of leadership is that? Yes, we say, "Menume wohu imen amesom." Niye wapeswa yekesi ena ma wanya sebi e wosom. Who lead that? Who deal with salaries? With I want to, I want to with you, uh, Your Excellency. This morning, e jantua ena mi jantua. Your Excellency, with all due respect, and <laughs> Your Excellency. So we numna amadi sere die so uti mi hwe to toma o me yen kenya mi be shira o na nka me futu en so ma ne ye wo fa ah e bia na nka wa ban yin ke be che pa eno so ya scripture daniel 4 27 ka o me minti enso ahina ma me futu en ya fe na na ma me futu en ya fe na fa tre ne ka o boni ko tre ne ka o boni ko na fa ehia fa ye de asesa wo mu na fa ehia fa ye de e de asesa wo mu ye asesa wo mu mo ye se e bia be ma wo ye e bia now what been a check? This country is too poor and miserable for us to pay per diem to anybody. From yourself, your excellency, with all due respect, to any civil servant, this country cannot pay per diem to anybody. Yesterday I was watching the, the uh, I think the Adungwa Oboasi Road your excellency with all due respect it's time for rigorous vigorous 
belligerent, scintillating, cataclysmic, catatonic, catastrophic leadership. We can do far better than Rwanda, Your Excellency. So please, we need to come to the place where no civil servant or government functionary receive a penny except their monthly salaries when they travel out of this country. Let's save the money and fix our roads, schools and hospitals. Number two, if anybody applies for a visa in this country and the visa is refused, let them refund their money back to them. If you can do that, you can even be here and we will advocate. We need Nana here. And yes, Sadia. Give the poor people their money. They want a visa. You've not given them the visa. Give them their money. Case closed. It's cheating. We don't call it administration. This is cheating. And I'm telling America. That is why the judgment of God is facing you like something. Europe saying. Give them back their money. Anybody you refuse a visa, they must get a refund. I'm telling you. And lastly, your excellency, I think that it should be incorporated into our governance system that anybody who served this country after they have finished their tenure, just like the public accounts committee certain, there must be something like an independent body where from the president to everybody must appear. And give account for your stewardship. We demand this as citizens, not spectators of this country. Stand to your feet. Let's go. We will pray for this country as we do every Sunday morning. We will sing the national anthem. It is my assignment God has given me to warn this nation from their sin, iniquity, and cruelty. And we are asking the grace of God. Prophets of Ghana, Munye serious. Munye serious. Munye se unonu amoki kanki kano. Neurate edi ehonte. Don't allow anybody to be telling us nonsense. Concerning the name of the Lord. Before we sing the national anthem this morning, I will read Titus chapter 3, verse 8, and then we will sing the national anthem and pray for the country. And there, this is the conclusion of my message. Titus, the third chapter, the eighth verse. The Bible said, This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly. That they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. We can kind Tito Itra Miensa Imu Emocheno. Tito Itra Emiensa Imu Emoch Tia Radios. Ayano Kwasem. Ayano Kwasem. Nayenum na Bishesa was Shemuding. Was mean Shemuding, Kanjara was said. Now, one of what you and your point, you know, be a what you Christ for you, sweat, dear. I didn't study a Obo Numa, Pamo, Sama Pamodi, kind of year, kind of year. I am a possum. Nay, no, yea, no, no, Michelle was shooting. Now, one of what you and your point, dear, I didn't study a Obo Numa Pamodi. Yea, no, dear, I am a what you Christ for you, so Eddie and one day. But also, Omo, you ma Pamodi, Omo, you ma Pamodi. Now, we need a no, dear, a yafe, not a yama unipa. Judgment, whatever you are doing, is waiting for you. 